This is still going to be about the cleanness of the initiations. TSM has to make sure not to overdive. They definitely have a bigger lead in this game than they did in game one, but it can still go away as this game gets later. Engages become very conditional now Here for Belter and the Ash Arrow with all these cleanses coming out. Svenskara on the front line. Rain over, looking to get Haunter? that task out. Doesn't do much. They may be able to get Haunter. Chrono Shift goes down. Haunter will be coming back up. And it looks like they keep going for the fight. Haunter throws back. Huni goes down. Now it's going to be on a Wild Turtle. They try to get him. He flashes forward. That's going to be the hit. Wild Turtle's getting the ricochets now. And a double lift, rather, I should say. And it's the triple kill going forward in the fight. Can they catch Cole Belter? That's going to be the hit. The passive is on. Do they turn around for the kill? Haunter fighting a minion. Almost goes down. Double lift brings up the pentakill. The most penta kills in LCS history for double lift and also even closer to a thousand kill and a climactic moment to potentially two all immortals. The fights have been scattered.